Hi. We're going to go into the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Palette today. If you want to see what I decide to create with it and my overall look for today, just keep watching. Okay, good morning. We're going to get into this. We're going to start by priming my eyes with the, if I can, yeah, Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. I think it is in, I think this, it's called Sin. I don't know. Oh, he's very vocal today, so if you hear him in the background, apparently something has him preaching this morning, so. Ian is doing school. And my mother is trying to get me to, to home another cat. That's where we're at today. Okay, so we are going to be using the Makeup by, Makeup by Mario Ethereal Palette. And we're just going to do makeup for today. figure out a starting point. We're going to go over my entire eye with this first color and the shades are listed on the back. I don't have contacts in so I cannot see them without putting on glasses. Tell me you have a German Shepherd without telling me you have a German Shepherd. Little clump of either his or my hair on my Fitbit. Hang on, let me make sure he has water. Okay. Problem solved. We forgot to give him water. Well, maybe not solved because he's still talking to us. So maybe he's just going to talk to us today. That's okay. I'm going to go into this brown shade. little touch of fallout under my eyes, but I think that's because I didn't, I tapped into that a little hard. These are soft. Mattes have a little bit of kick back in the palette. Or kick up. It'll be okay. Hold on. Okay. I pretty much poked myself in the eye, but it's okay. I probably should have swatched this because I'm kind of going have an have a look in mind and I didn't swatch these, so I don't know if it's gonna work like I want it to. But I'm gonna go into the into the color above that. And just blend that out. And yes, the grumpy old man is rather chatty today. 
He has been fed. He has been watered. He just evidently is airing his grievances. Kind of like one would do at the post office. I used to tell my husband years ago, this off topic of the makeup look, but they would kind of fuss among themselves. And I would ask him, is it nap time? Y'all need blankets and bottles? <laughs> he wasn't ever real thrilled with that. But sometimes grown people can act like children. And they did. A lot. Okay. I'm going to go in with this blue. And a shader brush. It's actually a cream shadow brush, but it'll work. Yes, that, that did what I needed for it to do. kind of pulled my eyes back out or open not out hang on don't want a whole lot of shimmer. It's just Monday. We are going to put that just all over just this shade. I took a liner brush and just barely went over my, my lash line with that with the black shade. Um, okay, I keep dropping things today. Um, I'm gonna go in, put some skincare on because I did not do that. My under eyes are really dark. And that is factoring into um, how this is looking. So I'm going to fix that. And what I'm using can take a tooth. I sorry, just. I, words are not working. I use the Clinique Moisture Surge around the inside uh, inside of my face. I put my regular Peter Thomas Roth um, on earlier. Um, they just seem to be very dry today, which is not uncommon. The weather is changing. Um, so we're just going to go with that. I'm going to use my Peter Thomas Roth. Yes. 
matte primer and once I put it on we're gonna wait a little bit before I do the rest of my face so let's do this this is the matte I do have the uh, I think it's dewy something like that um, very important minimal emotion on your face when you use this because it does tighten things up it does kind of help a lot and today need that help okay today we're going to use the sigma duo color corrector this i think is light to medium yeah light to medium just because, as you can see, underneath my eyes, needs help. And I'm just going to use my finger um, and kind of cover up some of this mess that's going on. And I'm using a pressing, tapping motion. I'm not so much a, sm a push tap, I guess. And I used the darker of the two shades. And I'm going to go in with the lighter of the two shades. And go back into the very corner. and brighten that up. That looks a little better. All right, let's move forward a little bit. Um, Going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear and do it off camera because you've seen me do this a gazillion times. So, yeah, we're going to do that and I'll be back. All right. I hit the, I'm sorry, I hit the, it's got to quit bouncing. Going to go in with the Sigma Tint and Tame Eyebrow Gel. And I'm gonna tell you, I hauled this quite some time ago. Um, not so sure how I feel about it yet. <coughs> it's really nice. Spam calls have just, I don't know if there's certain days that they call more often, but just can't seem to get them to understand that none of the things that they're trying to sell me do I need, nor do you. The shade of this, I don't know if I can get it on camera, is more of a brown. Maybe, let's do. Kind of get an ideal. So it is, it kind of softens more than the, my benefit. Um, and I like that. The wand is longer. It's a taller tube. It's easier for me to find. I like all of those things. Um, 
just still kind of getting used to. I've used it one other time. So I'm still getting used to, so this is kind of kind of a semi-first impression. Um, I can't remember when it was. I tried it the other day. I think whatever I did, the Natasha Denona uh, Roxa palette video. But, um, yeah, uh, I liked it. It held up really well. It, the color, the color for me is the biggest thing. It seems to be more soft um, and more, kind of looks more natural to me. I'm not a huge, my brows are kind of not a big deal for me. So, you know, just kind of like pull them in just a little more because they're getting thinner as I'm getting older. But anyway, um, slap on some mascara. We'll be back. Okay. I realized I didn't have on blush, so we're gonna do this together. We're gonna, this is the one size um, cheek clapper. I don't get the names, um, but whatever. Um, gonna give this a go. The top one is a cream blush, so I'm just gonna Yeah. Gonna use that. So just kind of do a semi drape. Any y'all remember back in the day? I think it was Maybelline. Had blushes like this. Except, yeah, of course, they were all powder blushes. Uh, but you got three blushes at once. Because we did, we did what was called draping. Before all this other stuff was cool. We're going to see what that is. That's more like a highlighty shade. And I think the warmth is going to come from that one. So we're going to go. Woo. Little kickback. We're going to go. A little bit more than I anticipated. We'll fix it. Ooh. Not liking that. Don't know if it's the brush or the palette. But there's like a ton of kick. <sighs> Go to something else because it's just way too much kick. It's the palette because it's doing it with this one too. Uh, we got to fix this. One little heavy handed. That's my fault, not the product. Hang on, we'll fix it. Might have been a plan to turn the camera back on. I'm using and loving the Mac Stack Mascara in Chestnut Brown. The only thing that I don't love about the Chestnut Brown is that it is not waterproof. Which limits the 
where I can wear it and how I can wear it. Um, did take Loyal Infallible. Uh, um, okay, I know what I was going to tell you. When I went off camera to tone this down, because I got a little heavy-handed with the blush, I took just a touch of the ABH Balm, and I think this is 7. It's the lighter of the two shades that I have. And yes, I broke it. Um, just put a little bit on the inside of my face and softened that up a little bit. And then I went in, um, after I went in with a stippling brush and just blended the fire out of it, went in with a sponge, um, just kind of toned it down a little. This is the first impression look and first look with the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Palette. Um, I'm going to do one last thing because it just hit my mind. I'm going to take this white shimmer. There we go. Right in the corner and pull that. There we go. That's kind of, it needed something. And I, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I am the mayor's daughter. We love you oh so very much. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.